Uh, last night was a big night for Republicans, and this is a great day for the country. I want to start by saying thank you. Thank you to the voters for putting your trust in the Republican Party. Thank you to our volunteers and supporters that made last night possible. And thank you to our incredible staff here in Washington, D.C. and across the country, including our data team who were spot on last night. We had a decisive win in the Senate. It was a clear defeat for Harry Reid's dysfunctional leadership. It was a night of important firsts. Joni Ernst becomes the first female combat veteran in the Senate and the first woman in Congress from Iowa. Tom Cotton will be the youngest member of the Senate. Shelley Moore Capito will be the first woman elected to the Senate from West Virginia. Tim Scott becomes the first African American elected to both the House and the Senate. In the House, we don't know exactly how big the majority will be, but it will be a majority bigger than most of us have seen in our lifetimes. In the governor's races, Americans affirm their leadership of Republican governors. And in the bluest of blue states, they rejected Democrats in Maryland, in Massachusetts, and in Illinois. Even the president's home state, where he campaigned vigorously, elected a Republican. And that's how big this victory really is. So it was a historic night at every single level. This was all about a direct rejection of the Obama agenda. Up and down the ballot, these were the president's candidates. These were the Clinton's candidates, and they lost. We won because our policies resonated with the electorate, our ground game mobilized voters, and our candidates connected with the American people.